oh, he's here. Every day, this cat was coming to the back door. Tasha, did you get a quarantine friend? <gasps> What's his name? He was this long haired, beautiful cat, blue eyes. Handsome Mr. Handsome Pants. <laughs> I got Tasha about four years ago. <laughs> Normally I'm used to being at work nine to five and I would feel bad because she was an adorable little animal and I don't want her to be alone. But once I started working from home, I saw they would just hang out all day. Oh my gosh, she's not alone. She has a friend. Mm -hmm. You playing? One day, I saw his owner. She's like, this is Mr. Blue. And I was like, <gasps> Josh has a boyfriend. <laughs> Your boyfriend back and he's gonna be in trouble. Say hi to Mr. Blue. So obviously, I started making up ridiculous scenarios in my head and really personifying these cats. In the beginning, he was there almost every day. And then he would just be gone for a few weeks. Are you trying to keep yourself busy till he comes back? It's good to have a hobby. Was that him? No. I'm sure he didn't come by because, I don't know, maybe he, you know, got sick or forgot where you live. It has nothing to do with you. And then he would come back right when we thought all hope was lost. <gasps> Mr. Blue is back. Oh my gosh, you guys have a late night date? Reunited and it feels so good. And then he'd be gone for another few weeks. He stopped coming around and she just started with the catnip. She hasn't been herself ever since. <laughs> Tasha, look. Look who's here. Are you having a fight? You look a little irritated. Oh, snap. That's what you get for disappearing for weeks on end. I could tell that Tasha was getting a little more distant. I realized that I may be more invested in the relationship than Mr. Blue. And eventually I realized they didn't enjoy each other's company at all. Ooh, that's not a nice friend. After a while, Mr. Blue did stop coming around. And at a certain point, I actually needed to stay with family for a couple weeks, so I brought her with me. Girl, Tasha. My family has an adult cat, Armani. And I thought, you know what? It didn't work out with Mr. Blue. Maybe Tasha will hit it off with Armani. I kept Tasha isolated where the cats could see each other through a glass door. At first, Armani was in love with Tasha. He just wanted to hang out with her. He was so excited, couldn't stop looking at her, just wanted to open the door and sneak in every time to go and meet her. What are you doing, Tasha? she was just sitting there with like her hair up and hissing. <laughs> so obviously it's too soon for a new relationship and she's just not ready. Once I brought her back home, I realized how happy she was. She does not need a boyfriend or a daily visitor. She's a strong, independent woman. I take full responsibility for personifying a cat relationship during quarantine. But I'm going to take a step back now and just let my cat be a cat. Tasha. I guess if I've learned anything from this whole experience, it's something that I knew already. You cannot make a cat do anything it does not want to do. The second thing I've learned is that I definitely need a hobby. Carrie Bradshaw had Mr. Big. You have Mr. Blue. Oh, he's just like Mr. Big.